Hey, what's up guys? It is Lucky Punch and today we're diving into my top 15 teams to rebuild in the brand new NCAA 25 game. And I'm going to be going through the stadium, cities, campuses, coaches, moments, all things that will make these teams perfect for your next dynasty to rebuild in NCAA. So let's get it. So before I show you the 15 schools that are the best to rebuild in the game, I split them into tier threes and tier three is group of five or independent teams that I think are really down right now. They might be doing terrible, <coughs> UMass. They might be in a bad part of their history, but you can rebuild these guys, maybe move them into a power conference and move up and make history in their programs. And then tier two is power programs that are middle of the pack, are happy to win bowl games once every few years, and you can bring them to the top of their conferences and become national champions. And tier one is historic programs that once had amazing national championship like histories and you need to bring them out from the slump they're in and back up to what they once were. Let's get into it. And the first school I picked in tier three is the Boise State Broncos with their iconic blue field and also iconic blue uniforms, which makes a perfect rebuild opportunity. Albertson Stadium and a very passionate fan base is a perfect foundation for this and you can restore the Broncos to their former glory in the Mountain West. They had old rivalries with Nevada and Fresno State that can be rekindled and you can emphasize all their upsets like the 2007 Fiesta Bowl and the Broncos are a team used to upsetting more popular and bigger and more expensive programs across the country so you can aim for national prominence and continue this tradition that makes it a perfect rebuild. They brought in a ton of key transfers like Malachi Nelson, a freshman from USC, and Ashton Genty, one of the best running backs in the country, is going to be a very exciting and powerful duo together and they did go 8-6 and six last year. But this is a perfect chance to bring a powerful Mountain West team to become one of the best teams in the country and even fight for a national championship. And the second school in Tier 3 is the Marshall Thundering Herd. And Marshall has a ton of history. They're known for a huge fan base, the Thundering Herd. And you can look for Sunbelt dominance in a relatively weaker conference, but very good teams at the top of it. But you can look to dominate the conference by rebuilding Marshall and creating a new era of success. They had a lot of history, including legendary Hall of Famers like Randy Moss, but they have had a slow run recently. They went six and seven last year, and they lost a lot of transfers. So this is your chance to bring Marshall back with nice uniforms and bring some trophies back to West Virginia. And the fourth team in Tier 3 is the UAB Blazers, a team that not too long ago was completely about to be erased from history. Their team was disbanded, but now they're back in FBS, and they're ready for a rebuild. They have a great dragon mascot, great uniforms, and a great team identity, so you can rebuild them, win the conference, create new rivalries, maybe even become the best team in Alabama, maybe move into the SEC and see what you can do. They had a tough year last year at 4-8, and eight, but they have a ton of young guys. Jacob Zeno is a good, strong quarterback as a senior, and they'll need a lot of help to compete in Alabama. And the next school up is the Tulane Green Wave coming down south from New Orleans. And this is a team that was in the SEC and they had to leave and now they're in the American, but you can rebuild them. They've had a great run in recent years. Makai Hughes is a very good running back, only a sophomore. He was in a thousand yard rusher last year and he's gonna be very good and fun to use in the game this year. They have a great team identity with the green and the blue. And you can focus on reviving their SEC ties, use their New Orleans fan base, to establish new rivalries and aim for conference championships and the recent success and huge history of the Green Wave, including their bowl win over USC, makes them a team on the rise. They've been on a great run in recent years and you can bring them back to the SEC, rebuild them and make them national champs. And they brought in a ton of transfers at wide receiver, including Mario Williams from USC that will be very fun to use. And now we have UMass Amherst. I'm trying to be excited about them, but I'm not. They suck. Let's be honest, they suck. Probably the worst FBS team for what they are. 3-9 last year is a good year for them, if we're being honest. They lose players every year. They're an independent team. They're joining the MAC in a few years, but this is your chance to take them over now. 
and bring them to Dominus. I can Victor Cruz is the only guy I can think of for UMass, but they're hundred percent one of the worst teams in a not so good stadium that needs a complete revitalization of their program and you can do it. You can turn the Minutemen in Massachusetts into the best team in the state, New England, or possibly even the country. You can find new rivalries. You have BC in state and you can strive for a bull win, something they haven't done since 1972. That is a fact, you can look it up. And you can turn possibly the worst FBS team into a very strong contender for a national championship. And they do have some good players. Tyson and Powell are two seniors that are going to make an impact this year. They've stuck with the program. Tyson came in as a transfer two times, coming from Clemson originally, but he's a good enough quarterback to get the job done, and you can look to rebuild from there. It's a huge untapped market in New England to look for talent. You can beat out BC and be the best in the state. And now James Madison, JMU, another school relatively new to the FBS, which offers a fresh canvas for dominance for your football team. They have never won a bowl game, but they did go 11-2 last year. You can compete with programs kind of on the decline, like Virginia and Virginia Tech in-state. You can fight them out in the recruiting market and be the top in the state. They are in the Sun Belt, so you can establish them as the best team in the conference and eventually move up to the ACC, SEC, whatever you want. And JMU is poised for success with amazing logos, the Dukes, amazing uniforms and helmets, and Ayo Adei from North Texas and Jacob Dobbs from Holy Cross. They got their coach from Holy Cross. He brought in a, a ton of talent, including Dobbs, and they have a ton of new young players that they're going to use in the future to propel their program and push it in to one of the best in the country under your supervision. And now we have the United States Naval Academy, one of the only military academies along with Air Force and Army in the FBS, but they're known for their triple option offense, their incredibly unique offense, where they have almost no passing all year long and they dominate the run game with their strong and disciplined players, but their military tradition makes for a very unique challenge. You can follow by their guidelines, their recruiting, your best player, your quarterback, he might be going into the military, he might transfer because he doesn't want to be in the military. Anything can happen. And you have the chance to focus on the Army-Navy rivalry, one of the best in the country, and you can dominate the American Athletic Conference, Navy's new conference after being independent for so long, but they have a ton of tradition. Roger Staubach played there. You can use their academy's rigorous standards and academics, which is now in the game, to try and turn the military academy around. They went 5-7 and seven last year. They have amazing uniforms, as they always do. But they have a ton of guys like Alec Texa, a running back who's going to dominate the ground game. You can focus on recruiting tough-nosed fullbacks, and you can dominate the way they play. And now our last team in Tier 3 is Georgia Tech, a team with a ton of history and might be known as the Little Brothers to Georgia, but it is a fierce rivalry and it is up to you to become the best school in Georgia. They're also known for a triple option offense that you can use and they have a great atmosphere in Georgia. You can revive the rivalry with Georgia. It's been weak in recent years, but you can bring an ACC championship back to Tech. They've had a ton of history with their triple option or even guys like Megatron. So it's up to you to set Georgia Tech apart from their competition. They won a bowl game last year. They have a decent roster. Eric Singleton looks amazing at receiver. Jamal Haynes, a former receiver, looks amazing at running back. And they also have an amazing uniform set. So this is one of the best teams, I think, to use in the game. And our first school in Tier 2 is the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. This is not only going to be a fun rebuild in the Big Ten with all these new schools from the West Coast, that's going to make it so much harder, but they have by far the best uniforms in FBS. If you don't know, now you know. Look up all their combos. They're going to have 13 or more unlimited combinations of jerseys in the game. They have the great maroon and gold and goldie the Golden Gopher, but you can use their uniforms, their great stadium, for a very competitive rebuild in the Big Ten. They've had some tough years. P.J. Fleck has been trying to bring them back to relevancy, but now it can be up to you to beat out new schools like USC, Oregon, or UCLA. And you have a ton of great rivalries like the Paul Bunyan Axe with Wisconsin, 
or your rivalry with Iowa. So you can bring back the success that they haven't had in 100 years when they used to win national championships. And you can use Max Brosmer, a UNH FCS quarterback who's now going to be starting in the Big Ten for the first time ever. And Darius Taylor, who can pound the run game and had an incredible year last year as a freshman. And now another school with a ton of history and not so much recent success is Boston College. It had guys like Doug Flutie with the Hail Mary or Matt Ryan, Luke Keekley, so many guys in their history, but they've struggled recently. They just hired Bill O'Brien, went 7-6 and six last year and did win a bowl game at Fenway Park. But BC can dominate New England. You can dominate the recruiting. They're a Jesuit school with a ton of great uniforms and they've had a very downward spiral in terms of winning, so you can bring championships back to Chestnut Hill, rebuild under strong coaching, and try and dominate the ACC. They have big rivalries with schools like Syracuse and Notre Dame, so you can use their academic reputation to draw in recruits from the area. Thomas Castellanos has changed their game with a running quarterback, and Lewis Bond is a great receiver that can put up big numbers this year, so it's up to you to bring the Eagles back to dominance. And now Oregon State. It is a sad story too many. They were left behind in the dust with their little brother rivals, Washington State, in the Pac-12. Everybody left them, so this is a very unique rebuild opportunity. I'm going to be honest, when I open up the game, I'm bringing everybody back to the Pac-12. That's not happening on my watch. But if it's up to you, you can join the Big Ten and get revenge. You can join the Mountain West and try and dominate a new challenge. They have great colors, great uniforms with the black and orange, and their roster is gutted. So it would be a great challenge to reset and have a dominating run in whatever conference you pick. But they do have great rivals like Oregon and Washington State, and the Beavers need a huge change and a great play style to aim for conference championships. And now, you all know the story. The Colorado Buffaloes, led by Coach Prime, led by Shadur Sanders and Travis Hunter, two of the most exciting prospects in college football. Travis Hunter's had a crazy path to follow Sanders, and Coach Prime is ready to win. They had so much hype last year to go 4-8 and eight and 1-8, and eight, which is kind of crazy, but now they're in the Big 12 and they're ready for revenge. They have so much expectations, so this is up to you. They have amazing uniforms, an incredible roster that Coach Prime did put together whether you like him or hate him. But Folsom Field and the Buffs are primed for a resurgence with an amazing culture in Colorado. You can embrace the prime time ethics and reignite your rivalries with Nebraska or Utah. And your goal should be turn Colorado into a Big 12 and a national championship contender. Harness all this energy and bring it to amazing recruiting and show that you guys are worth the hype. And now our final tier is tier one. Teams with storied histories that need a little kickstart to get going again and can dominate the country, not just their division. And the first one is Nebraska. They have an incredible history dominating the 90s and dominating back in their day, but it hasn't happened in forever. They were 5-7 and seven last year, and they've sucked. Not winning a bowl game in eight years is inexcusable for a team this big. Known for their black shirts or their amazing defense, that you can bring the Cornhuskers back in the Big Ten and compete to win. The Big Ten is going to be a lot harder, as I mentioned, but you can restore their power running game their hard-nosed defense, and huge rivalries with Oklahoma or Colorado, and make Nebraska a Big Ten powerhouse once again. They somehow got Dylan Raiola, the number one quarterback in the class, when they swiped him away, which is a huge start for their team as a freshman. And Isaiah Newer from Texas is a huge get for Raiola as a target. And they have amazing uniforms with the black shirt set, so it's up to you to bring a storied franchise back to prominence. And the second team in Tier 1 is the Miami Hurricanes. Although they are a private school competing with the biggest schools, they had so much swagger and hype in the 80s and 90s with Gino Toretta. But now they have an electric atmosphere with very flashy uniforms and great colors with the U. And rebuilding Miami is all about restoring their dominance and swagger. They have amazing in-state rivalries with Florida State, or Florida, and you can bring back their aggressive play style, aim for ACC titles, move to the SEC, 
do whatever you want, but make the Miami the powerhouse it once was. They have amazing uniform combos. And under Cristobal, they've been very mid in the last few years, 7-6 and six last year. But Cam Ward is one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and he's going to come in with experienced guys like Xavier Restrepo, who is an amazing receiver, very underrated. So it's up to you, with their amazing atmosphere, to bring Miami back to the dominance they once had. And now the final school is the Notre Dame Fighting Irish coming out of South Bend, Indiana. Notre Dame has so much history throughout their entire history. They've been amazing, but they've been on a very slight decline recently. But they are a powerhouse in this sport and rebuilding the Fighting Irish means rebuilding for all the amazing players in their history like Joe Montana and the Notre Dame. And Notre Dame is home to the iconic Notre Dame Stadium with Touchdown Jesus. You can do this rebuild for him and their gold helmets and traditional uniforms set them apart from the rest. You can join any conference you want. They're independent. They fit right in to the Big Ten and they have so many rivalries with schools like USC or Michigan. But with your independent schedule, your goal is only for national titles and nothing else. And you can restore the legacy they once had, but they still have amazing colors, amazing defense that they're known for. Xavier Watts and Benjamin Morrison are two of the best and most hyped defensive backs in the country. And you can use them to kickstart your defensive legacy at Notre Dame and NCAA. And those are all 15 teams I think is perfect for the best rebuilds in NCAA. I'm probably going to be making a video on every single one of these teams. But if you enjoyed the video, it was a little different. So comment down below teams you think you could use. If you, if you enjoyed the video, if you agree with me, disagree. I love talking with you guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see more. And see you guys next time.